Yo, what's up YouTube? Ryan the Fam back with another awesome video for you guys. In today's video, I recently got a brand new iMac editing computer. This is a 2020 version. So in today's video, we are going to unbox that baby, get it all set up, and show you exactly what all uh, you are gonna get. I also got 128 gigabytes of OWC RAM. We are going to stuff in there. So this uh, um, computer should be pretty much more than enough to do 1080 video editing, maybe a little short 4K stuff in the future. But I am super, super excited, guys. Let's get off into today's video. If you are new here, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss all the awesome, exciting videos we have for you. Just like the one we are doing today, we do mods, unboxings, vlogs, installs, reviews, you name it. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get off into today's video. We are taking a look at the unboxing and we have a giant box here and kind of a weird rectangular box here. If you're looking at this box, um, you may already know what's in here. Let's walk around to the other side and I will show you what we got for today. Um, first video underneath the honeycomb lights. Beautiful, might I add. Be sure to check the video description for a link, but bam, guys, look what we have here. A brand new iMac. This is the 2020 5K Retina display. As you know, when you're making videos, you know, editing photos, you need a pretty decent computer and you need RAM, guys. So this new 2020 iMac holds 128 gigabytes of RAM. And for some odd reason, I went ahead and ordered all 128. Bam, oh my gosh. This computer should be snappy fast as far as editing video, um, pictures, you name it. Let's take a look at a little bit of the specs. It's got the 3.8 uh, eight core Intel i7, 16 megabytes, Turbo Boost 5K, eight gigabytes of memory but supports 128 so we're taking out the eight and putting 128 and it's gonna fly we got a 512 uh, ssd which isn't a big deal i usually run all my stuff off of a ssd anyway just because i was working with a 2011 uh, mid 2011 imac and it just kind of helped um, we got the Radeon Pro XT with eight gigabytes of VRAM. Not the greatest, but it should be more than capable to edit 4K, uh, things like that. Um, FaceTime, Thunderbolt, SD, yada, yada, yada. So let's go ahead and unbox this baby, stuff it with RAM and start making some content, guys. I'm super, super happy to get a new computer and make content for you guys. Cause uh, the mid 2011, I mean, sometimes it would render my uh, 2.7K. Um, but let me just show you a little bit on the SSD. SSD drives are super, super fast. I mean, drop proof and look how small this is guys. I mean, it's almost the size of a stick of RAM. This is just the one terabyte version. This was all they had in stock at the moment, so it should be fine. The only thing I really use for this is when I'm editing the videos, I save the uh, main uh, you know, video file, Final Cut files on here. That way it just keeps your hard drive space free and the computer itself flowing fast like it's brand spanking new. And I'm excited, guys. Let's go ahead and get this baby unboxed and get the ram in here and we'll be good to go guys all right let's try to do this one-handed and see how it goes uh, i guess i'll just put it up here for now on this awesome craftsman workbench sweet and uh plug it in here i guess i'll get it up and running as far as uh operating 
you know all the apple id stuff signed in and then once it's running fully operational we will flip it over take the ram out drop in this 128 gigabytes and be ready to go my friends so i mean i guess it should be fine here let's go ahead and peel peel that back I imagine it's gonna wanna be on the ground like this. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah. Oh mama. Okay, so. It looks, well this looks to be like the keyboard, just kind of stuffed in there, set that away, and I want to say this whole thing is in here, so I'm probably just going to uh, lift it up, uh, this is the base plate obviously, so let me see if I can get this camera somewhere in a good spot and we'll get it out the box. Okay guys, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, see if we can get it out without messing anything up, huh? Everything is out of the box. This was the top piece, it just comes right up. Side pieces. I don't know. Should there have been a mouse in there? I don't know. No mouse here, no mouse there. Maybe uh, we're missing a mouse, guys. Because I don't see it anywhere in there. Um, but it might be in here. So here is the actual unit itself and Check this out guys, oh my goodness. It is so thin. There's a little kind of paper. Smells beautiful. Love the way I like new electronics smell. Yeah, come on. There we go. It's kind of staticky, so we're gonna have to be sure to remove all the static before we start messing around with this RAM. We don't want to shock this thing. Stuff's like wrapped around. There we go. This unit is light though, guys, compared to the 2011. Oh my gosh. There it is, plastic is off. I really can't believe how thin they are. Really cool guys. So real quick, power slot. This is where the memory is gonna go, the RAM. So once we get it powered on, we will flip it over, put the RAM in it, uh, reboot it up, and she should be golden guys.
Okay, got that all ready to go. Now just gonna plug her in. Should be a power button back over here. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I held it long enough. Yep, I see a little apple on there. Let's see what it does. Give it a second. Oh, there's the mouse, duh. So there's your keyboard, mouse. So I guess it's telling me to turn on the stuff. Okay, so now we're just running through the uh, basic setup. We're gonna do language English. I like this keyboard, it's a little different from the 2011. And here we are guys, 2020 iMac, ready to go. Calendar would like to use my lo location. Updates are available, obviously. We will update all that later. Let's go and see here about this Mac. So we're running Catalina. 5K 27 inch 2020, 3.8, uh, 8 core Intel i7, and the memory 8 gigabyte 2667 megahertz DDR4. So let's go ahead and slide these babies in there and bump it all the way up to 128, my friends. And we'll be ready to go. This computer will be all set up, ready to rock. Once we get it, you know, where it needs to be in the, uh, my room, my setup there. So let's get a tile down here, turn it off, get the RAM in there. And uh, hopefully we'll boot it up with 128 on the dash.
All right, that little lock box is kind of a tight fit. I imagine it only goes one way. Maybe it goes both. It doesn't really look like it's directional, but that is on there. RAM is in there. This is the RAM that we took out from Apple. So let's fire this baby back up and hope she's rocking the 128 gigabytes of RAM. Power's coming on. Let's see what she does. Usually when you do RAM stuff, it usually takes a little bit longer to boot up, the first boot up. So hopefully things come on here in a few minutes, huh? Okay, the Apple screen popped up. We're at the password. Password going in, doing a little loading. Okay. Oh my gosh. 128 gigabytes of 2667 megahertz DDR4. My friends, that was a successful uh, iMac unboxing uh, setup and a successful RAM upgrade. Oh my gosh. I'm super, super excited now just to download Final Cut, all my plugin stuff, and start making some content. Let's go ahead and get this baby switched over, mounted up in the... Uh, my setup room here and we'll be good to go my friends Alright, Hammy Fan family, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. That way you can stay up to date with future videos as they go live. Be sure to check the video description for all of our social media links and handles. We got a lot of cool affiliate links for you to check out as well. But I am super, super excited, guys. This new computer with this RAM is really, really fast. It's saving me time on rendering, um, exporting, importing the files. It is a huge, huge win. The uh, WD, that little mini passport, is absolutely killing it. So um, I really, really can't complain, guys. I'm super, super happy. It, the card, the passport is so tiny. It, doesn't even need a plug from the external unit I was using. I will put links in the video description um, for everything you saw in the video. And again, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always guys, we will see you in the next one.